So suppose we want to measure how good a regression model performs. In other words, how does that model approximate the relationship between uh, y and x variables, okay? Uh, to do this, we use a set of evaluation metrics. Uh, and the first one here is called the mean absolute error. Uh, this is one of the simplest of all metrics. Um, and by definition, it's measured by taking the average of the absolute differences, okay? Sometimes we call this the absolute error. This absolute error is also called the L1 loss, okay? Between the actual values and the prediction. Now, this is given by this equation where we get the absolute differences between the actual value minus the prediction. We call this y hat y, okay? Uh, then we get the summation of all these across our data set divided by the number of samples. So this is just the number of sample. Uh, and then we get the mean absolute error, okay? So essentially here, uh, mean absolute error is just a linear score, uh, which means that all the individual differences, individual differences here, y minus y hat are weighted equally in the average, okay? Uh, of the number of data points in our uh, data set, okay? Uh, one thing to note when using mean absolute error is that it's probably is not a good metric when you have a lot of outliers, okay? So when you have the presence of, uh, or rather when uh, outliers are prominent, uh, then the performance might not be uh, very good. So you might wanna do some data pre-processing there. Okay. Another thing to keep in mind is that uh, mean absolute error doesn't penalize large error. Okay. Now in worker, we can see that in the result window, I just ran a linear regression uh, model here on our uh, Boston housing data set. Uh, we can see here the summary here, we can see we have mean absolute error. Uh, later on, we can see, uh, we'll uh, figure out how to uh, interpret these values. Okay. Now for our next um, so for our next uh, metric, we're going to be looking at uh, mean squared uh, error. 